Yo, 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 what is going on, ladies and gentlemen? My name is Adam Moose, and today in this series called In Depth, I'm going to be breaking down everything that you need to know about Viego Jungle. Every living thing is my subject. Viego is a unique carry jungler that has massive pop off potential when in the right hands. He has the ability to steal enemy champion souls and completely take over games, especially if you can pilot those champions. If you enjoy the content, it really helps me out if you could leave a like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to help your boy out with the YouTube algorithm. If you want to talk with me and other members in the community, be sure to join the Discord link that's in the description. Hope you guys can learn something. Enjoy the video. Viego's passive is called Sovereign's Domain. Recent enemies who have been hit by Viego and die within 3 seconds become Wraiths. By basic attacking a Wraith, Viego becomes invulnerable, temporarily taking control of their body, healing, and blinking to their location. He then gains access to the stolen enemy's basic abilities, items, and stats for a maximum of 10 seconds. He also replaces their ultimate with a free cast of his own ult once level 6. Viego will preserve his current health percentage between transformations and is unable to move, basic attack, or cast his abilities during the duration. This passive can be extremely broken, but also requires a ton of game knowledge to use it to its full potential. Every time you get an enemy's soul, knowing when and how to make use of that champion's kit properly is extremely important if you really want to master Viego. Viego's Q is called Blade of the Ruined King. Passively, Viego's basic attacks deal bonus physical damage on hit. On top of that, Viego's damaging abilities also apply a marked enemies for 4 seconds. Viego's next basic attack against a marked target strikes twice, dealing extra physical damage and also healing himself. This second strike is affected by critical strike modifiers and on hit effects as well. Actively, Viego thrusts his sword in the target direction, dealing physical damage to any enemy's hit. Your Q also deals extra damage to monsters, aiding in Viego's jungle clear. It's important to weave this spell in between autos to maximize damage, especially since it's such a short cooldown and is Viego's main DPS tool. Viego's W is called Spectral Maw. Viego charges up before dashing forward, releasing a ball of concentrated mist that stuns the first enemy hit. The longer you charge Spectral Mist, the missile range and stun duration are also increased. While charging, Viego is slightly slowed and can also be cancelled by CC. Keep in mind that your W resets Viego's basic attack timer, and you can also use any of your other abilities while dashing. If the charge is interrupted, Spectral Maw will be placed on a shorter, 3 second cooldown. An important combo to note is W Flash. This allows you to quickly gap close against unsuspected targets who would be out of range otherwise. You can also use this to flash over minions and champions to reposition, allowing you to lock down a specific enemy out of range. Viego's E is called Harrowed Path. Viego sends out a trail of mist in the target direction, which lasts for 8 seconds. This mist spreads around the first terrain that it encounters. When Viego is inside the mist, he gains bonus attack speed. If he's not attacking or casting, he becomes camouflaged and gains bonus movement speed. He can also cast this during any of his other abilities. This ability allows Viego to sneak around terrain and become extremely powerful in 1v1 duels due to the extra attack speed DPS that it provides. This ability is very flexible and has many different uses that will be discussed in the jungling section. Viego's ultimate is called Heartbreaker. Viego blinks to a nearby location and bursts all nearby enemies on arrival, dealing massive physical damage. This causes a shockwave that targets either the nearest or lowest HP enemy that knocks away all their allies. The champion targeted also gets massively slowed and will take any on hit effects as well. This ability's damage scales with bonus AD, crit, and the target's missing health, making this a great tool to execute enemies. If Viego possesses an enemy champion, your ultimate cooldown gets reset, allowing you to really pop off in chaotic teamfights. To discard your current possession, simply ult and repeat the process of taking down your next target. If a possession is discarded, Heartbreaker will be placed on a 1.5 second cooldown if it's not already. When using Heartbreaker, Fiego also becomes immune to CC, allowing him to outplay any key abilities that would lock him down and buffer right through the crowd control. Mastering this ability comes with time due to its multiple uses, but is crucial to learn if you want to truly dominate on Viego. For ability maxing, Viego maxes Q first, 
E second, and W third in all situations. Now let's get right into Viego's rune setups for the current season. First off and most common by far is Conqueror. Conqueror is just so damn good on Viego since it gives him damage, sustain, and can be stacked up extremely fast with his Q and auto attack resets. If you're against an extremely squishy team comp, press the attack is also a viable option for single target burst. To close out the precision tree, Triumph and either Legend Alacrity for more DPS or Legend Tenacity versus Heavy CC. Coup de Grasse is the best option at the squishy teams for extra execute damage, while Last Stand is better in games with more frontliners since you can sustain up more when you're low and extend fights for even longer. For secondary, the Inspiration Tree is definitely the most consistent setup to go for Viego. Magical Footwear and Cosmic Insight are the go-to choices, and to be honest, this is pretty much the only setup run by the high elo and pro Viego players. In the case that you want to try something different, Resolve and Domination can both work as well, but I won't get into them as much as I don't think they're a better than the Inspiration setup in majority of games. For Rune Shards, Attack Speed, Adaptive Force, and either Armor or Magic Resist depending on your jungle matchup are going to be the standard choices. Now let's discuss the best item builds for Viego in Season 12. To start, both Red Smite and Blue Smite are viable options depending on the enemy's team comp. Red Smite is the best choice in most cases for the extra dueling power, while Blue Smite allows you to chase down mobile carries much more easily. For Boots, Plated Steel Cap and Merc Treads are going to be your main choices in 99% of games. Either Steel Caps for armor against auto attack based teams, or Merc Treads to get some tenacity into tons of CC. Now for Mythics, Divine Sunderer, Trinity Force, and Kraken Slayer are going to be your main choices. Divine Sunderer is by far the most picked option for sustain and beefiness, followed by Triforce, which is a great carry choice. If you want pure damage versus tank teams, Kraken Slayer can be a solid option as well, although not my preferred choice as it's much less consistent. For core items, Blade of the Rune King, Death's Dance, and Maw of Malmordius are going to be your main picks. Bork is fantastic for DPS, while Death's Dance and Maw give you some much needed resistances to tank up and not get one-shotted while you're trying to reset in fights. Wit's End and Guardian Angel are both honorable mentions as well, as they are staples for Viego in the mid game. I'm also seeing some Viego players going full crit with Essence Reaver. It seems decent if you want a 1v9 playstyle, but is honestly not recommended unless you're very experienced. From this point, your choices are pretty open depending on what you need for the current game. Your goal is to continue building damage to duel the enemy carries, while also getting tankier to give yourself survivability in team fights. I see too many low elo Viego players building full damage, which can be fine in certain games, but will most times get you instantly bursted. It's a very important skill to be able to analyze the enemy team comp and build accordingly to greatly increase your chances of winning. Now let's discuss Viego's jungle strategy and pathing. Learning how to clear efficiently on Viego is step one. First is your Q, which is a very short cooldown and deals AoE damage. The main thing to remember is to always time your Qs around your auto attacks to avoid cancelling animations. Next is dragging your AoE camps so that your Q angle can hit all the monsters at once, which will greatly increase your clear speed. Next is making sure that you use your W as an auto attack reset at pretty much all times. Although most people do not see these things as a big deal, using all your spells to their maximum potential will help you out a ton throughout an entire game. On the topic of your W, remember that your W flash combo is even more deadly when used inside your mist, as the enemies will have almost no time to react. Another important tip is to avoid placing your E mist close to walls when clearing, since this can give away your position on the map for no reason. Too many times I see Viego's autopiloting and using their E around jungle walls and giving up their location, giving the enemy free info. You can also use your mist to play mind games with enemies, making it seem like you're trying to sneak up in stealth, when in reality you're running the other direction, or even waiting patiently in the mist, applying pressure and getting vision while not actually doing anything. Lastly, before discussing jungle clears, it's important to understand that Viego usually likes to play fights slowly, using possessions and extra ult resets at the right times to avoid CC and draw out fights. I mention this because I see too many Viegos committing way too hard and getting deleted, or simply waiting and picking off low health enemies can make an absolutely massive difference. Now for actual jungle pathing, Viego has tons of options, so let's go over the usual clears done by the top Viego players. First is the full clear route, which usually takes some practice to finish before scuttle spawn, 
but is a staple for Viego. You simply full clear from one quadrant to the other, putting two points into Q at level 3 for max farming speed. This is a passive route used to maximize gold and XP before you start impacting the map. Although Viego does have solid early dueling, this can be used as a defensive path when against stronger duelists such as Rek'Sai or Warwick to avoid fighting and outfarm them. Now if you want a middle ground between ganking and farming, the 4 and 5 camp gank paths are both viable options if you see an opportunity come up and you need to act right away. This can be done on either side of the map, just keep in mind that you will not put 2 points into Q to have access to all 3 abilities. Lastly is the 3 camp gank or invade path, which is the most aggressive option to instantly put pressure on the lanes or enemy jungler. My personal favorite version of this is definitely Red Raptor's Gromp, which allows you to quickly hit 3 and to start making plays. The other option is a buff buff gromp clear, which still works, but takes longer and does not have the added benefit of putting your raptors on a fast respawn timer. Keep in mind that although Viego is a duelist, he really benefits from scaling up through farming. His ganks are not the best, so forcing plays is definitely not the move. Farm up, get items, and look to dominate skirmishes in the mid to late game to start asserting your dominance on the map. Viego's biggest weakness is that his kit is pretty low mobility without ult, and can be punished very hard with bad positioning. Since your main tool to sneak around is your E, getting caught in your mist in a bad spot can a lot of times just mean death. This gets even harder when playing into heavy CC team comps or versus assassins. In short, Viego does not have great defensive tools, which makes him a very feast or famine type of champion. Champs such as Kindred, Zalese, Trundle, Warwick, and Shaco all give him a pretty hard time due to their powerful dueling. These matchups are very tough for inexperienced players, and any mistake will punish you extremely hard. To build onto this, Viego is a pretty high skill cap champ and can be very difficult to pilot to his full potential. Since most times you'll need to fully commit when fighting on Viego, not knowing his limits can be the difference between instantly dying and resetting a bunch of times for a pentakill. This gets even harder when your team does not have a primary engage or frontline to soak damage as Viego is not a good engager himself. He much prefers being a secondary or third engage to pick off low health enemies and start resetting. In addition, learning Viego to the highest level also requires you to learn every other champ in the game so you can pilot them once you get a possession. This may seem overwhelming, but we all know those Viego players who transform and then have absolutely no idea what they're doing. Lastly is that Viego's early game is pretty tricky to play out, and being inexperienced on him can make it seem hopeless early on. Although he's still pretty strong in early fights and straight up duels, he still loses to many of the meta champs. Learning how to path according to this weakness and scale up into the mid and late game is probably the biggest difference between an average Viego and a great one. Now let's discuss what makes Viego such a strong choice to carry games on. First is that he has insane carry potential and is a great pick to learn if you want to gain elo. Not only is his single target DPS extremely high, getting possession resets in teamfights can instantly turn the tides for your team. Although this can be sometimes difficult to pull off, learning how to commit just enough in fights to get kills and start popping off is going to be crucial to your success. Next is that Viego skills very well with items, meaning that there's usually no rush to close out a game. Since he can pop off from getting a single takedown, Viego actually thrives in those mid to late game fights around objectives, especially if you have some items under your belt. To build onto this, Viego is actually an amazing duelist and team fighter, meaning that he can thrive in almost any fight situation, depending on if you play it well of course. This makes playing against a good Viego extremely difficult since finding a winning fight opportunity usually depends on them making a mistake. This is why Viego does so well into champs such as Xin Zhao, Jarvan, Master Yi, and Gwen, since they all need to commit into him, which usually does not go well for them. Viego is an all around flexible champion who can switch up his build to fit any game. He requires a lot of game knowledge to make work, but is one of the absolute best picks if you put the time in. If you're looking for a hard carry who has massive pop off potential with enough mastery, Viego is definitely the pick for you. That will do it for my Season 12 in-depth guide on Viego Jungle. If you want to support my content, make sure you're subscribed to the channel and turn on notifications to keep up with my weekly uploads. If you're looking to add more jungle champs to your pool, make sure to check out the rest of my in-depth series to find more guides just like this one. If you want a chance of winning a free coaching from myself, make sure to join the Discord so you can participate in our monthly giveaways. With all that being said, thanks again for watching. Until the next video, peace out.